Hello and welcome to Good Morning Lakeland. I'm Mr. Wanglin. And I'm Noel Matthijs, and we'll be your anchors for today. This weekend, the Lakeland Theater Program probably presents the spring musical, Hello Dolly. The evening performances on Friday and Saturday will be at 7 p.m. Matinee performances on Saturday and Sunday will be at 2 p.m. Tickets are $10 for students at the door with their ID. Hello Dolly is a whimsical story about a turn of the century matchmaker who decides to go into business for herself. This is a funny story full of physical comedy, sparkling with happy songs, alive with endearing characters, and ripe with the mood elevating properties of a classic American musical. If you need a pick me up, consider coming to see the show this weekend. Lakeland is partnering with, the, with two men and a truck to help support their program, Ubers for Moms, which collects and collects new and gently used items for women and children in need. There are boxes in your fourth hour classes to place your donations in. The fourth hour class with the most items will win a pizza party by two men and a truck. Thanks. Well, we decided to bring it back. It's time for the senior section. Let's go. Seniors, don't forget to complete that senior exit survey that was sent out in your HBS emails from Mrs. Riley. Lakeland is in need of the entire senior class to complete the exit survey, so please complete the survey as soon as possible. Thank you. Senior Decision Day 2023 is fast approaching. Mrs. Jeanette is working on some great things to help celebrate you, the class of 2023. We're gonna celebrate Decision Day 2023 on Friday, April 28th, we are encouraging all seniors and staff to wear your college, trade school, career, military, or post-secondary gear to school that day. Don't forget to look out for Mr. Head and the yearbook staff as they will be taking pictures to help celebrate Decision Day 2023 here at Lakeland. Prom, take, prom tickets are now on sale. Tickets are $75 per person and can be bought at all three lunches. Non-Lakeland guest forms are also available in the main office. All forms are due back to Lakeland by May 3rd. No exceptions. Tickets for non-Lakeland guests cannot be purchased until the form has been approved or until the week of May 8th. Get your tickets as soon as possible as the last day to buy your ticket is May 12th. The prom is scheduled for June 1st at the Suburban Showplace in Novi from 5, 6 p.m. until 11 p.m. Thank you. Seniors, it's time to send in your pictures for the Senior Slideshow. The slideshow will be shown at Senior's last day after the Senior Breakfast. Pictures are due to Mr. Rolando no later than May 12th. You can email or share them in Google with Mr. Rolando. Thank you and get your pictures in for the slideshow. The show is what you make it, so please send them in sooner rather than later. Tickets for the Senior All Night Party will be sale on sale Tuesday, April 25th and Tuesday, May 9th at all lunches. Tickets are $30 and they accept cash, checks, or Vimo. The All Night Party is June 4th from 8 p.m. until 2 a.m. at Oakland Yard. Get your tickets and don't miss out on this great event. Attention all students, the White Lake Police Department is looking for volunteers for their open house on June 11th. If you are interested in volunteering, please see Detective Race in the main office. Thank you. Students, the 2023 yearbook is currently at the publisher with a estimate arrival time of May 20th. As of today, there are only 120 books remaining for purchase. In the past week, the yearbook staff has emailed everyone who is according to our records has not pre-ordered a yearbook. If you want to guarantee that you get a copy of the 2023 yearbook, we strongly encourage you to use the link with we included in that email. You can scan the QR code that is visible in the pink flyers that are located in key spots around the school. While there may be some available for in-person purchase when they arrive in May, pre-ordering is a safe way to reserve your copy. There will be a spring supplement covering spring sports and other spring activities available in June. If you order a yearbook, you, you also get the spring supplement. Thank you and don't forget to pre-order your yearbook today. And now for sports. The boys volleyball team fought hard all night Wednesday against Avondale, CC, and Dakota. Through the team, though the team played tough, they came up on the losing end in the evening. Good luck the rest of the season, boys volleyball team. The girls lacrosse team came away with a 22-0 win over Wald Lake Northern on Wednesday night. Yes, you heard that right, 22-0. 
Great win, Titans. The team is home tonight here at Lakeland when they take on Cranbrook. Go Titans! The varsity tennis team came away with a big win over Farmington on Wednesday night. Great job, girls tennis team. Speaking of girls teams, let's check out the spring sports preview. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Miller with uh, the next set of our spring previews and I'm with Miria Garrigo of the women's tennis team and I've got Alexis Gunther also. Both are seniors, four-year varsity letter winners and we're going to talk a little bit about the, the season. It's already started, the girls are two and one. Uh, the tennis program is headed up by uh, Coach McClellan and she's in her fourth or fifth year now. So, fifth year, she's in her fifth year, okay. Thank you. So. What are some of the strengths of this year's team, Alexis? Um, you know, being tennis, everyone's kind of has their own court, so it's it's hard to make the the team kind of united. But I think that our biggest strength is sportsmanship. We all come together and um, encourage each other, and just have you know have each other's backs. So, Mireya, what are some of the things you're looking forward to this year out of the team and individually? I mean, it's my senior season, so I'm honestly looking to just have a blast and make as many friends as possible. And I'm, I always look forward to LVCs because that's when you get to see all the people like you've made friends with over the course of the season and just like get to put your all out there. All right, and Maria attends the International Academy who competes with Lakeland as well. I want to mention that. So, um, Alexis, what are some of the you know big matches coming up? Tuesday, we're home against Wall Lake Western. Uh, hopefully, this will air before that, uh, so get out and support on Tuesday. But what are some of the other matches you're looking forward to? Um, we have a big under the lights match versus our rival Milford, which is really fun. You know, they turn on all the lights on the courts, then you play in the dark. Um, I'm not sure the date of that one, but it's coming up. And then we also are hosting regionals on May 17th. Um, which is, you know, a big deal, and yeah, we hope to have some support at them. Any dates you're looking forward to, Maria? Definitely the Under the Lights match because it's super fun, and I think it's on May 4th, but I could be wrong, and I'm also looking forward to regionals. Well, you know what we say, check the website because it's on there. So, all right, well, we're looking forward to a strong season out of our girls' tennis program. Anything else you want to add? Go Eagles! Go Eagles. <laughs> The varsity baseball team traveled to Notre Dame prep on Tuesday and came away with a 4-2 win on the afternoon in some frigid conditions. They also split a doubleheader with the number three team in the state, Rochester Adams, last weekend. The team is now 8-2 overall and 5-0 and in the league in league play. Great job, baseball. The girls varsity soccer team tied Farmington 1-1 last week. Keep working hard, girls soccer. The boys golf team won the Lapeer tune-up last weekend with a score of 327 defeating Grand Blank by four shots. Well done. Finally, the boys and girls swim and dive teams were both named Academic All-State. Both teams finished in the top 10 in the state with the boys team placing second in the state with an overall GPA of 3.8. And the girls team placed ninth in the state with an overall GPA of a 3.76. Great job, swim and dive teams. Remember that you can find all the latest athletic information out on the Lakeland Athletics Facebook and Twitter pages. You can watch many of the games live online through the NFHS network. Well, it's time for anchor shout outs. First up is me, I'd like to shout out every single member of the lacrosse boys team, and I hope we do better this season. Uh, my shout out is to all the students who've been nominated for Student of the Month, and uh, we have a, a great prize this week for our grand prize winners, uh, four tickets to Jimmy John's Field for the months of April and May. A special thank you to Mr. Wengland for coming out on the show today. Do you have anything to add, Mr. Wengland? No, let's finish strong Lakeland, and uh, we'll, it'll be June before we know it. Don't forget, we always post our episodes of Gordon Morning Lakeland on the LHS website at www.hbs.org. And don't forget to check out our newest project here in video production, the Lakeland Podcast. You can look for the Lakeland School Podcast on Spotify, Anchor FM, and in your email each week. Thank, Thank you, you for watching, watching Good, Good Morning, Morning Lakeland. Lakeland. Have, Have a great, a great day. day.